Did you know you can actually add third-party fonts to CapCut? Let me show you how. Since it's Halloween, you can see that I've already opened up a project, added a photo, reformatted that photo, and added some text. Happy Halloween. If you tap on Style, you can change the fonts here. Just swipe left or right to take a look at all the fonts already inside CapCut. Notice there's not really a Halloween-themed font, so what I'm going to do is add one. You'll notice there's a plus sign right here. If I tap on it, it opens up the Files app. Just a tip for those of you who are doing this for the first time, the Files app on your iPad or iPhone will open to the last location you were at when you open it. So, in my case, it opened to the Downloads folder. This is okay because that's where I want to go. I've downloaded a scary Halloween font from defont.com. But as you can see, everything in the Downloads window is grayed out. That's because it downloads to your iPad as a zip folder, and you need to extract it first from inside the Files app before you can add it. So I'll just tap on Cancel. I'll close down CapCut, or minimize CapCut for a minute. I'll open the Files app and tap once on my scary Halloween zip. When I do, you'll see a blue file folder appear. This zip folder has now been extracted. The blue file folder has the same name as the zip folder. And this time when we tap on a plus sign, you can see the blue file folder. Here is the font file. To bring the font file into CapCut, just tap on it. System was the first font, but there's been a new font added to the right of the plus sign and to the left of system font. So to select that font, all I have to do is tap on it and tap on the check mark. You don't want to resize the font or reposition it until you have added the font that you're actually going to use because the default position in this case is actually pretty good. I might just move it up a little bit and move it over a bit. That's just because I'm going to animate it. So I'll tap on animation and there's a bunch of animations I can use. You have three different categories of animation, in, out, and loop. You can only have one animation at a time, unless you're using an in animation and an out animation. But because this is a Halloween greeting card, I'm going to use the loop animation. And I want it to wave, but the closest one I can find is this dance animation right here, so I'll tap on it. And you notice that's what it looks like. Of course, you can control the speed of the animation. Now, let's apply some effects to the text. I'm going to tap on effects. Take a look at the different effects you can apply. Because this is sort of a Halloween themed video I'm making, I'm going to choose this one here. I'll just tap on it. And notice the outline and colors have been applied, but if I tap on the check mark, the Halloween font I added still looks the same. Let's take a look at what we've got so far. That looks pretty good. Now for fun, let's add some audio. I'll minimize CapCut once more. In the Downloads folder, you can see I've got this music track downloaded from the YouTube Audio Library, so I know I can use it. I'll long press and hold on it, and then tap on Share. You'll want to make sure that you move the playhead back to the beginning of your video before you do this. The audio was imported at the position of the playhead which in this case was the end of the video clip. But that's okay, you can just long press on the audio track like this and move it back to the beginning. And in this case, it was good that I put it in at the end of the track because I didn't notice the audio fades in. So I'm going to select the audio track and I'm going to 
split the audio track right there and remove this part. Long press once more and move it to the beginning of the clip. Then I'll go all the way to the end of the video here and I'll select it once more. Tap on split and remove this part. Now the audio matches the length of the video and the text. Let's take a look at what we've got now. That looks pretty good, but I'm going to fade the audio out since it's not technically the end of the track, but the end of my video clip. So I'll select the audio track once more and tap on fade. I'll use the fade out duration slider and move it to the right. Notice the track will start to play for you so you can check out the fade. I'll tap on the check mark when I'm done and I'll play the clip once more. That looks great. Now just export your video. Let's take a look at the final clip. Tap on done and you'll be taken back to the CapCut projects screen. Notice your projects appear in the white area below the new project. The yellow boxes you see right here and inside the CapCut editor are tips. To make them go away, just tap on the screen.